What up with it, man? It's your boy Corey Mo, UGK alumni. You know what it is. Corey Mo is the name. Step your game up, man. You can catch me out and out, shepherd doing the thing. All I need is a couple of grams of sour D's and a thick thigh popper determined to swallow these. Well, me and my brother been running the studio in Houston since '99. And uh, we just opened the studio in Atlanta a year ago. You know, we've been getting a whole lot of cats coming through. Like I said, Killer Mike, Yellow Wolf. Peel. We had Raheem Devon up in that thing. Everybody been coming through, so you know it's been a serious blessing, man, moving out to Atlanta. I wanted to be like my older brother, so he 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 was in a little rap group, and uh, you know I'm right right in the next room, so you know I'm listening to that every day, all day. So I started rapping, doing little talent shows and pepper rallies all around town. I won a whole bunch of shit. Scarface wanted to sign me back like in '95 to Interface. I was young being around the OGs in the game. So you know it was it was it was always a uh, always a blessing just to be around them boys, man. They taught me a whole lot. What got me into production is the fact that I couldn't afford no damn beats. You know what I'm saying? I I, I rap my ass off all day 24-7 and you know it just you know I, I was tired of rapping on other people's shit. You know, I, I ended up um, dropping out of college and all of that old fly shit. So uh, I ended up getting a beat machine. I went to school for digital audio technology and took all of them courses and one through however many legal aspects and you know, live talent management. I took a bunch of courses and that made me um, start buying studio equipment. So I bought a beat machine and just one piece led to another. And, you know, I kind of forced myself into production because I couldn't afford no beats. Me and my brother pretty much, me and my brother Mike, man, we pretty much recorded every record, every UGK feature, every record you have heard since 2000. From international players to knocking those down to all of the features, man, me and my brother recorded all that shit. Pretty much we the home base studio for UGK, basically. So, both of Pimp solo albums, both of Bond solo albums, the double disc, the last UGK record, Mad Studios is all over that shit. And uh, my brother used to be Pimp's road manager, so it was more of a family thing with us. Shit, man, it was great working with the Pimp, man, working with Bond. Niggas taught a nigga a lot. That boy Pimp stayed on my ass about them drums, making sure that shit banging right, get them organs where they supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? That nigga schooled me to a lot of shit. So, you know, it's you know, it's just a blessing, man, to even to even be in the in the in the same category to even try to continue the whole UGK legacy. It's just a blessing. What's up with it, man? It's your boy Corey Mo. You can check me out right here on BlowHipHopTV.com. You know what it is.